Okay, everybody, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Um, we are going to get started with with class. Uh, we are on unit three or lesson three, and today we're going to talk talk about population and how to analyze the graphs and population. There's something called a population pyramid that we'll go over, and we'll be able to uh, to look at all those things. Just so you guys are aware, this lesson is being recorded for learning purposes and just expectation. Um, expectations, we're going along here. One, follow along with the Nearpod lesson. I'm going to put that in the chat real quick. Um, if you are unable to get on the Nearpod, if you can just type in the chat, um, maybe what your answers are, just so I know you're actively participating, that kind of stuff. And then also respond to questions and instructions the first time. And that really helps us not have that awkward silence that sometimes we may have. So, okay. Here we go. Okay, before I get on there, let me just kind of show you. Um, beginning of here, I just have like basically what's due today and what's going on for the week. So as we're here, lesson three assignment that we'll be going over today. And then you have also have the mid-course reflection. The mid-course reflection is basically you're just going to write down what you've learned so far in the class as you've gone through units one through three. Um, it's only a block class, so we're going to finish in January, beginning of January, so it's very quick. And um, very quick, and then we'll – so. Basically, we're already halfway through the course, if you can believe that. Okay. All right. And then once we go here, if you go into unit three, these were, are where you're going to find your things. Assignment three, mid-course reflection right here. Okay. So our objective today, what we want you to do is be able to find different populations, um, go to the website, take certain, certain data points, be able to use a little bit of math and find out which gender lives to be longer or or why did one gender like there's more of one gender at some, a certain time than another it's really interesting to look at population pyramids and then if you also look at some of them you'll you'll see that some of them are not having any babies in their countries that they're born so what's going to happen there right the population's currently going down and down and down in those countries and so the only way for them to expand or accelerate would be immigration or migration or um, be able to have more kids, which a lot of people are not having as many kids these days. So this is what a population pyramid looks like, and this is what we're going to look at. So over here on the I always get these wrong. Okay, math people. The one that goes straight up and down. That's the y axis, right? X Y. Am I right? The y axis. Okay, so up and down the y axis, and then you got the one across that goes horizontally is your y axis, so or your x axis. So your your y axis coming down here. If you'll see, you might have to look a little closely, but it has ages so it has age ranges so babies zero to four five to nine ten to fourteen etc okay um over here they have the percentage of what the population is on the y-axis so in the middle they have zero and then it goes out so you can see a little over four percent uh probably because that's six right there about four point five percent or four point seven percent 4.4%. Those are right there. Um, how much percent of the population is part of that, that age bracket. And it's, then it's broken down in the center, males to the left, females to the right, and they're broken down color wise. Okay. So as you can see here, this population pyramid, you know, there was a bunch of babies born right here, not as many here and there, but you do have like a younger population, which is good. Um, so this is a fairly typical population pyramid that you see. We'll look at some that are quite different as we go through here. 
And then we got to analyze why that is. So this is the population of all, and they do it of different regions. So like all of South America. Okay. So this would be all of South America right here. Um, as you can see, the bottom here, it has the total population. Oh, actually, this is the population of the world. I don't know why it says population of South America. The population of the world is so 7.5 billion as of 2017. Okay. So that's where we're looking at, and it shows the whole world population. But we'll break those down into kind of different areas. Okay. So this, what we're going to do here, you're going to build a use your tool. So I want you to be able to circle where you can find the total population. Okay, so you'll be able to see this on your screen. So where can you find the total population? And then you can submit right here, and then I can take a look at it, okay? So take a second, those that are on Nearpod, circle where it's at. Okay, yep, kind of see how everybody else is doing it. So when we're going to analyze them, we can see exactly any kind of population pyramid we have where it's at. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more time to finish here. Okay. All right, so it will be right down here. Locks, man. Okay. Anyways, I'd be able to submit if I was a student. Okay. All right. So what we want to do now is identify different areas. Okay. So let me zoom in a little bit because this seems very, wow, it's going the opposite direction. guess I zoom in the opposite way to make it go in a little bit. That doesn't work. Well, I tried. Okay. So you're going to have to look closely on here but you're, what you'll do is you'll actually go in and we're saying okay we want to look at ages 85 to 89 so we look at find 85 and 89 and then we scroll over and when you actually go to the website so let me hit this website in for you and if you look this has an updated version from 2019 so there's 7.7 .7 billion people or almost 7.8 billion but if we were to go here and we were looking at the 85 to 89, we're going to see that there are 15 million 900, so almost 16 million men that are 85 to 89. But there are 27 and a half million women worldwide that are 85 to 89. Okay. So this kind of gives us a better indicator. So as we can see here, we can inference a couple things too that we we'll want to think of. So we're seeing overall in the world that what? About men and women. Because if we look down here, actually met more men are born in zero to four. Okay, all throughout here, more more men are born, or males, and then slowly the, it changes to there's more women, okay? More women than men when they're older. Yep, so women live longer. Okay, I like your guys' thinking of what you're thinking right now, okay? So there's a bunch of different ways we can analyze these different graphs, okay? Of course, this one's from 2019. And as you can see here, we can go to a whole bunch of different countries or we can do different areas like Central America. Look at that. Not having as many babies now. And they don't live to be as long. Some of them, right? We took the United States. I don't know. I just like going through and looking at it. So you search up the top, United. Oops. Oh, come on. If my cursor will let me do it. United States of America. Oh, look at that. We live to be quite a bit longer, but look, not very many babies. Less and less babies are being born. 
So that could be a problem. Anyways, a lot of things we can kind of analyze with this, but that is the population pyramid. So what you're going to do on your questions, is you're going to go through and answer like some of these questions, you know, find different numbers, find all of that kind of stuff here. And I think you guys know how to do that. I'm going to skip that portion. Now, we did kind of define why, but here, here's kind of the biggest question, okay? So, sorry, I'm skipping through here because I want to have a little bit of discussion on this. Okay. So, it shows about after 45 that females... There's starting to be more females than males. So put on here real quick why you think that might be and what are some reasons why women seem to live longer than men. All right. Because not a lot of babies were born and females live longer. Uh, yeah, but there's more actually male babies than female babies, right? So you know how I said it's always 50-50 that you'd have a, a baby. Actually, more males. It's showing more males are being born, right? So overall, okay. Um, I said murder. I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, maybe expand a little bit more. Men do stupid things and they, yeah, you know, men are more risky. There's more testosterone, right, flowing through their bodies. So they might uh, there because they don't, because maybe girls don't know. Yeah, they're um, overall, and we're, we're talking about generalities, right? So this isn't all people because each individual is different, but generally like, Females are more less risk aversive than males, right? So we have that. Uh, war, perhaps, since men are put in that situation. That is very true. That's happened quite a bit. Um, if you kind of look, if you go back and look at the 1980s population pyramids, there was a huge gap between with the men that were born from 1920 to 1930. There was in the United States. The men were very, very small, and the women were a lot. There's a lot more women, and that's because a lot of them went off to World War II and and uh, passed away. Okay, so we got there. Uh, drug use could be one. We talked about risk aversion because uh, they healthier lives. Yeah, one thing that maybe just generally, right? Not always that. Sometimes women take care of themselves more, um, that kind of thing. Uh, someone said small dogs live longer than big dogs. So, yeah, I guess there's a lot of maybe like wear and tear possibly. The, the bigger you are, the more kind of wear and tear that might cause your body, your joints, have a hard time working. It's just horrible getting old. You guys are too young to know, but. I mean, I got like arthritis and stuff like that. So <laughs> I'm old. I don't like cold days because uh, men drink the uh, juice under the sink. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. There are more housewives than house husbands. Yeah, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that would cause a thing, but possibly uh, because how good. Rain taste that that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know what we're talking about there. Okay. Yeah, m uh, men may take more risks than women do. Okay, so there's a lot of different things that you can kind of infer from the stuff. So everybody, I want everybody to go to the population pyramid. Okay, and that's what your assignment's going to be on today. So you're going to go there, and I think we're going to talk about all of South America. So let me just type in America. Okay, South America. So South America would include like Brazil, Chile, 
Venezuela, all those places. A um, little bit of a trend, right? Not as many babies being born. But this is what you're going to use when you're going to look at answering those questions, is looking at South America. But it would be very interesting to look at some different countries too. So if we look at some countries in Africa, maybe uh, Zambia, this is a very interesting population pyramid, okay? Look at how many babies are being born. Tons of babies. But look how fast people die, right? You can infer from that, you know, certain health care. Um, you could harder lifestyle, that kind of stuff. Okay. Interesting things. Let's uh, Mozambique. That might be interesting. Mozambique, kind of the same. Uh, but let's look at, you know, a place like Japan. People live to be quite a long age in Japan. So, oops, didn't change over. Japan. Look at this. This is a very interesting popular period. It's not even a pyramid anymore. Okay. So, very, not very many kids are being born. You have a huge population under here. So the problem is, what about when all of the people get this old age and the people that are working in productive age, they're the ones that usually take care of these people. What if they get so many less people down here that nobody can take care of themselves, right? So interesting there. Somebody was talking about the Middle East. I don't know what you're talking about on there, but that's interesting. Like... Uh, Let's uh, let's look at Iran, right? Iran might be interesting. Look at this. Not very many babies were born right there. Big populations right here. Why is that? What was going on, right? Yeah, Russia's numbers are very interesting too. Somebody talked about Russia. Russia is decreasing so much in their population. Okay, look at this. As you can see, wars, these were done from like wars. But if you look at right here, we are at what, 2023? The prediction is their population is going to continue to go down. to, you know, 100 million people. That's it. Okay. So something to look at. What you'll do is you'll go into population pyramids and you will do the assignment, find some numbers, hypothesize really kind of why you think things happened and why they didn't. Um, and then also your mid-course reflection, okay? So that is your assignment for today, okay? All right. Any questions there? That you have? Put them in the question. Okay, somebody says page, says page not found. You need to do it on... You can just Google populationpyramid.net or let me open up the chat again real quick. There's the link that you need. That's the one. And then you can go to South America or you can go to uh, wherever. Somebody was saying, uh, was it Bosnia? That I'm trying to keep up with the chat. You guys are like, Fast in the chat. Okay, look at that. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, if you know what you can do, you can take off. 
Yeah, Ukraine might look pretty interesting right now. Yeah, look at the wars. What wars have done up there? Dang. Okay, somebody was saying the questions assignments didn't work. Let me just pop into it real quick. And really what I'm looking for you to do is just basically analyze the different graphs, okay? So if we click this right here, let me see if this one will work. Okay, it's asking the total population, South America. Just pick, because these update all the time. So pick the closest one. Okay. Okay, what is the total there? Total there. Pick that and then hypothesize. Okay, let me um, stop the recording.